I didn't have any expectations about the study because I had, I was so ignorant of the, an innocent, I guess innocent would be a better way to describe my frame of mind about it. An innocence and an openness that I, I didn't have any expectations. And I think that really helped me because I was able to be open to the experience and surrender to it. And when I had my high dose, I was so terrified. I have never in my entire life been so terrified to be blasted out of my body, to leave my body behind, to be uh, going at warp speed backwards through my own DNA, out the other end, into the universe. There was no concept of time. It was so disorienting. I didn't know if I had been gone a thousand years, a minute, there was, there was no time, and that was really disorienting to me. There was um, the sounds, the buzzing sound, the sounds of angels singing, but it was all very, very impersonal until I got to the space where I realized that I was in the area where souls await rebirth. And I was there, and I had been there so many times before. I recognized it. And this incredible transcendent peace came over me. I have never in my life ever felt such peace. Everything was stripped away. Every hope, every hope, every fear, every attachment to the material world was completely stripped out of me. I was free to just be the essence of a soul. And it was ecstasy. It was the ecstasy that, you know, they talk about in religious experience. But I wasn't considering it from a intellectual uh, point when I was out there. I wasn't thinking, wow, this must be ecstasy. This must be, it was just a, a complete and total experience that was so raw and so unique and so completely unexpected and unanticipated. And then God talked to me. And I was shocked because my own spiritual beliefs are more towards the divine feminine. And this was a male voice speaking to me. Or maybe it was that I was hearing it in my soul telling me I was going to see something. And I'm confused in this environment of this staging area where the souls await rebirth of what to look at, what to see. And then all of a sudden I knew that I was coming back because I heard the sound that I knew was from the real world and it was a jet going over the hospital. And so a jet interrupted the voice of God telling me something. And I, I came back, and I felt like I was physically reforming. And it started with my brain, but then the rest of my body started to come together kind of cell by cell. And it wasn't painful so much as it was disconcerting, because I knew that I wasn't out in that space anymore. I knew that I was back in the hospital, in a hospital bed, but there was something happening in my body, of it coming back together again, of my consciousness re-entering my body, was having a physical effect on my body. And one of the things that happened that was really interesting to me is I started shaking and shivering uncontrollably. And that's something that had happened to me after the birth of all three of my children, that I had this incredible shaking and and shivering and it was the same exact thing I was rebirthing myself and I was having the same physical reaction and then I could sort of take a few deep breaths and lift up the eye shade and Rick goes well how was it <laughs> and and you can't because you you're trying to you're trying to relearn language you're trying to you know, process everything that's happened, you know that this is, besides the birth of my three children,
the experiences that I had on DMT are the most profound experiences of my life. And I know that they always will be.